Hey guys, welcome. Today's video is going to be a super motivating one. We're going to be tackling the kitchen, deep cleaning, organizing, decluttering, tackling all those forgotten areas. We're going to be cleaning under appliances, sharing some tips and tricks. It took me about six hours of nonstop cleaning to tackle it all. So it is jam packed with cleaning motivation. If you are new here, welcome. I am a stay at home mama to four. So on my channel, I love sharing realistic, messy house cleaning, plus decluttering, organizing, laundry motivation. I throw in grocery hauls every once in a while. So if you enjoy realistic cleaning motivation, I hope you hit that subscribe button and stick around. I would love to have you here. We are going to be starting off by putting away the dishes in the dishwasher. I knew I wanted to run a cleaning cycle in here, so I wanted to get that done first. And then of course, we're gonna be clearing away the countertops because I cannot declutter and organize until I have a clean space to do it in. So number one is clearing away the clutter. As I was putting away the dishes, I realized how many of them were still dirty. I have been super frustrated recently with how dirty the dishes are, even after we run a very long cycle, like the deep cleaning cycle, our dishes would still be so dirty. And I've cleaned the filter numerous times, but it was definitely time to do a deeper cleaning. So I will share with you guys what I like to do to make sure the dishwasher is running at peak performance and it's super cheap and affordable and easy to do. Looking at ya, you, you're like a firefly. Guide me out of the woods now. Oh, I think I lost my way, but got you to help me back. Tell me what I should do now. Every time I'm feeling down, you can make it go away. Your light is shining bright on me. Got no reason to be afraid. So before we can do the deep cleaning in here, we of course want to clean the filter. And if you guys have never done this before, it's so easy. You just turn the filter counterclockwise and it comes out. As you can see, mine was pretty dirty. So we're gonna be cleaning that out and also making sure the bottom of the dishwasher is clear of any chunks or debris. So I just use paper towels to clear away any junk that might be at the bottom. And then to clean the filter, you just use some warm soapy water. It usually comes off really easily. You're growing in the dark Once your filter is clean, you just put it back into place, turn it clockwise, and it will click right back in. And to do the deep cleaning, what you're gonna do is fill up a measuring cup with two cups of white vinegar, and you're simply gonna put it up at the top of your dishwasher and run it on a hot cycle. And this is going to make sure every area of your dishwasher is nice and clean and sanitized. And because your filter is nice and clean, it's just gonna go through there much easier. And of course, if you wanna be super thorough when you get done with this cycle, you can go ahead and pull the filter out again and clean it just in case there was any chunks and stuff that was left over. So while the dishwasher is doing its thing, I'm gonna start clearing away the clutter on the countertops. I needed to also do a deep cleaning inside the oven. We recently spilt some food in there and it was just time to clean it out. You could smell it every time we turned the oven on. It just had that burnt smell. And I was really excited because we're gonna be trying out the Jaws cream cleanser for the first time to see how it works on hard grime. So I'm really excited to share my honest review with you guys on that product.
As you all know, my catch-all area is my coffee bar. That's where I like to put all my clutter. And my husband's clutter spot is right here next to the fish tank. He likes to put his keys, wallet, dip, all that stuff. It usually gets piled up over here and it drives me crazy. So I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and grab the little basket that I had in my bedroom that's just for little knickknacks. And I'm gonna use that to go on the countertop. That way it just looks neater and organized and my husband can store all of his little knickknacks in there. And I think it looks really good. Before getting started on cleaning the stove top, I'm just going to wipe the grates down a little bit. I deep cleaned them not too long ago, so they weren't really bad. So I'm just going to do a little wipe down make sure there's no seasoning on them or little crumbs before pulling the grates off and giving the stove top a nice wipe down. When I was recording this video, it was a Sunday. It was kind of a Sunday reset for me. I actually really enjoy cleaning on Sundays because the kids are home, my husband's home. I feel like with everyone home, they kind of are a little bit more distracted and preoccupied so I can focus on getting the cleaning done. And it's nice when you focus in one area because you can do a very thorough cleaning. But unfortunately, <laughs> Because they are all home, the rest of the house was being destroyed at the same time, which if y'all stay until the very end, I will show you guys what the house was looking like when I got done. The kitchen was beautiful, but the living room and dining room was a hot mess. But I feel like that's just realistic and that's just how it is. Like whenever you're cleaning one area and you have kids running around, nothing is going to stay clean for long. It's just part of the season of life that we're in. And I love sharing those real moments with you guys because you know I keep it real over here. But we're getting started inside of my oven. What I did was open up a brand new sponge and I'm gonna use the kind of abrasive side to rub the cleanser into the spots that really needed the attention. It wasn't the entire oven, I just had a few sections. If you guys saw my last kitchen deep clean, there was a spot like right on the edge of the oven that I just could not get the grime off of and I didn't have a razor. So this time I have a razor and we're gonna try out the jaw cleanser and see how well it does. So I'm rubbing it on there and then I'm just gonna close it up and let it sit for the time being until I get done cleaning underneath the oven. So I'd say it probably sat on there for like 30 minutes and then we'll see what job it does. Let's go ahead and clean under this oven. As you can tell, it was disgusting. I had so much food crumbs, spilt food on the side of the oven, the countertops, everything needed a very good deep clean. I really do try to make a point to do these deeper cleanings in the kitchen. I'd say at least twice a year because between the children and I'm the messiest cook around, I will be the first to admit that. I feel like every six months it's really called for because whenever I move my appliances, there are so much food crumbs and grime underneath here. So I like doing it twice a year. I'd love to hear how often do you guys pull out your appliances and clean underneath them. Just to start. 
in case y'all are wondering what cleaning products I'm using I'm using the Jaws kitchen cleaner to clean the countertops the floors and then for the wood I'm using my method wood cleaner I'm just about out I actually run out during this video I haven't quite decided if I'm going to be trying a new wood cleaner or not I know I I have said for years that I would not change my wood cleaner because I love it so much I love the method almond scent wood cleaner but y'all know I'm switching to more all-natural um, cleaning products and stuff and I really haven't researched the method wood cleaner I've heard they're supposed to be more all-natural but I haven't looked it up on the EWG website so I plan on looking into that before buying more of it I do have another bottle that's like half full upstairs that I'm still currently using but not sure yet if you guys have any recommendations leave them down in the comments i would love to hear what y'all use Now I'm just gonna go in and rub the spots that have been sitting and you guys the verdict is in this cleanser works so good it got off almost all of the grime especially that stuck on area that I was mentioning that I had issues with before I tried using pink stuff on there I tried easy off I've tried a lot of stuff and it has not removed it so I was really impressed with how well the jaws cleanser worked and not to mention i love the smell of this it's like a lemon scent it almost reminds me of barkeeper's friend it it smells similar to that and i love that scent so i'm a huge fan i'm really loving this product it worked great inside of my oven i did follow up with my razor to scrape a bit more there's a couple spots still stuck on there but i feel like if i do this maybe one more time it should get it fully off but I'm definitely impressed with its cleaning power. And then to wipe it off, I'm just using a damp microfiber cloth, wiping it down really well to make sure that there's no product left behind. You can even go in with some paper towels to dry it up, but I'm super impressed with how clean my oven looks. Now the last thing I wanted to do was just give the grates a little wipe down. I did have some stuck on food and grime on them. And to get it off, I just simply used warm water and my steel scrubber brush to get off all the grime and it takes it right off.
by this time my dishwasher was done running its super hot cycle and you guys the inside of my dishwasher is spotless now and it is running so much better my dishes are getting clean again so i definitely recommend doing that if you guys are also struggling with your dishwasher just not running optimally definitely give that a try but now we're going to go ahead and wipe down the stainless steel with my jaws glass cleaner this does a pretty good job at cleaning stainless steel i must admit it's not my favorite but it does a pretty good job at cleaning the stainless steel. It just doesn't leave it as shiny as I would like it to, like my yellow Windex did. I have mentioned in my previous video that I have been getting into the decluttering mood, hence why I was ready to tackle my kitchen. But the next thing on my agenda is tackling my kids' bedroom closets. Not only do I want to clean and declutter them, but I also need to go through their clothes. I mentioned we did some summer shopping, plus one of my friends gave me tons of hand-me-downs for Austin which I am so grateful and thankful for because Austin really needed some more shorts and just clothes overall. So I am really excited about all of the new clothing, but I need to free up some space in there because all of the hangers are taken and I really wanna to try to just clear away all the stuff that no longer fits him. So the next video after this is going to be me decluttering the boys clothes, possibly getting into the girls clothes as well depends how long it takes me to get through everything but I'm really excited so if you guys enjoy my decluttering videos make sure you're subscribed and you have that notification bell on because I have a tons more decluttering coming your way I might turn it into a like summer decluttering series that way it's all in one spot in case you guys miss any you can go back and watch but I'm really excited. I've just been in the mood to get rid of some clutter. The kitchen is definitely an area I struggle with storage space, especially because I have tons of little kitchen gadgets. It's probably my favorite thing to buy and I actually just added to my collection of things. I bought a ice maker from Frigidaire, which I absolutely love. If you guys been here for a while, you know my fridge ice maker broke I mean, it's been over six months now. We've been talking about getting a new fridge in general just because ours, for one, is too small. It, the ice maker is broken. The drawers are cracked. Like, it's just falling apart. And I really want a new fridge. We've just kind of been putting it off because they're so expensive. So for the time being, I thought I'm gonna go ahead and buy a nice ice maker. That way I can stop having to run to the gas station and get bags of ice because I swear I have to go probably every two to three days. We just go through ice so fast. So I'm really excited that I have an ice maker now, but now I'm really struggling with storage. I have so many different gadgets and not enough space to put them. So today was definitely necessary for me to just see if I could organize things a bit better. We are gonna be going through my lower cabinets and organizing some of them, especially where my pots and pans go. They get so cluttered in there and all of my storage containers they just they're so piled up so i wanted to go through them get rid of any that i could ones that i don't use or you know just ones that were old i'm trying to slowly switch to all glass containers so i do end up getting rid of just a few nasty ones but before i can get rid of all the plastic ones i really need to find just some large glass storage containers because that's where i really struggle is for bigger things that i'm trying to store like lasagna watermelon stuff like that i need big containers 
and usually the ones in the store they come with like one large and then a bunch of tiny ones so I'm gonna be on the hunt soon for some larger ones that way I can just get rid of all the nasty plastic ones now it's time for me to clean the inside of the microwave it really wasn't too bad but I wanted to show a little trick in case you guys haven't seen this before you fill up a measuring cup or anything that is microwavable and you fill it up with roughly two cups of water and a good splash of vinegar and then you microwave it for five minutes that way the water starts boiling and all the steam get stuck to the sides of the microwave and then when you go in there and wipe it down all of the stuff that was stuck on the side of the microwave just wipes right off so easy great way to get any like caked on stuff out of the microwave I love cleaning the sink it's probably one of my favorite things to do when I get done cleaning the kitchen there's just something about a shiny clean sink so today I did end up using the jaws cleansing cream again and it did a great job cleaning the stainless steel it got off all the nasty marks in here and left it shiny clean and I loved the scent of this. Like I said, it it smells really similar to Barkeeper's Friend, and it left a strong scent behind. So I was very happy. By the time I was done cleaning the sink, the microwave went off and I was ready to go ahead and wipe it down. Probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining. Or something cliche like ooh. Baby, I only want you. And he said, I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand. He held her close under. Now it's time to tackle the fridge. We're going to clean underneath of it and also inside of it. I want it to wipe it down. I am planning on picking up groceries the next day. So I just wanted to make sure the fridge was clean and I had space to put the new stuff inside. But first, we're going to go ahead and pull the fridge out sweep underneath here i had so much dog food under here it was crazy i do feed yoda over near the fridge and stella my new puppy she loves to knock the dog food out of the bowl and eat it off of the floor and she does the same thing to yoda's food so that's why we had so much dog food underneath the fridge This is what my fridge is currently looking like. It is so cluttered in here. Doesn't matter how many times I pull things out and reorganize, it just gets super cluttered because quite frankly, we just don't have enough space in here. But I'm gonna do my best. I'm going to pull out everything, wipe down the upper shelves and try to organize it just a little bit better so I can fit more stuff in here. I did have a good size watermelon in here that I needed to cut up and store. So I'm just gonna do that first and then we're gonna clean out the fridge. So 
so I wanted to tell you guys about something crazy that happened to me recently and maybe you guys will have some insight for me or I don't know maybe this has happened to you before I'm gonna be talking about it in a vlog coming up very soon as well but I recently took the kids to the mall to go clothes shopping like I said I needed more summer clothes for the kids but it was shortly after I got back from Vegas and in Vegas I walked over eight miles every single day like my feet were killing me and then when we came back we went to the mall spent the whole day walking well that evening out of nowhere I was just sitting down I felt something like hurting on my shin area and it kind of was like a hard knot at first it was red it was risen up like a hard lump and the only way to describe it is like when I stood up it felt as if the blood was like forming all together and like pulsing and to touch it was extremely painful and at first I was like oh my gosh is it a blood clot like that was my first thought because I've never felt anything like this. My husband was like, oh, maybe it's just a bruise. But I'm like, I think I would have known if I hit my leg, especially that hard because it was a big lump. So I did warm compress and stayed off my leg that night. When I woke up the next day, the entire area was a huge bruise. And when I say huge, it's probably like the size of my palm, if not a little bit bigger and it's super purple and it's been there now for almost a week. I went to the doctor two days ago. They wanna send me out to get an ultrasound of my leg just to make sure it wasn't a blood clot, but we don't know what it is. She said it's not common for blood clots to like bruise. I don't have any swelling in my leg or anything like that, but it was just weird. It was out of nowhere. I have no idea what it is. The only other thing that I like could Google and find similar, like the way that it looks would be a vein bursting, but everything that I found online, usually that is a varicose vein that burst and I don't have any varicose veins. So I have no idea what's going on, but just thought I would throw that out there and see if you guys have ever experienced anything like this have you heard of anyone getting this what it could possibly be because I am like I don't know I try to tell myself it's nothing like maybe it's just a random bruise but I don't know it was so weird and out of nowhere once the lump went down there's like no more pain like it doesn't hurt when I touch the bruise it doesn't feel like a bruise it doesn't hurt so so weird but let me know if you guys have any idea what you think it could be and I will definitely keep y'all posted on what happens whenever I go get the ultrasound see if they can figure out what's going on but yeah craziness <laughs> anyway we are now heading into the lower cabinet this is where I have all of my storage containers as you can see Austin my seven-year-old he does the dishes and he often just throws the containers in here so it was just a jumbled up mess every time we open this cabinet everything would fall out so I really wanted to reorganize this and just put all the lids onto the containers that way whenever I reach in here and want to store something the lid is already right there it just makes it easier for me so I'm putting them together and I'm actually explaining to Austin like we're cleaning this I want it to stay looking like this so hopefully it will stay organized for at least a month or two before I have to do it again I have this new spatula and spoon set that I got off of Timu. It's 
so I have been meaning to swap them out, but I just hadn't gotten around to it. So today I went ahead and cleaned my utensil jar and then we're gonna be putting the new green ones in. I am hanging on to the white ones simply because they still are good. Like there's nothing wrong with them. So I can't just like toss them out. So I figure I'll hang on to them. Maybe I'll swap them back and forth or maybe I'll sell the other ones in my next garage sale. But for now, I'm gonna hang on to the other ones. <laughs> that way I have them in case I need them. But now we're gonna head into my pot and pan cabinet. This one, I just felt like it wasn't functioning as well as it could. I feel like there was a better way I could organize this just to fit the things in here a bit better. I really love the organizers that I have in here. I ordered them off of Amazon, but I felt like I could rearrange them into something different to just help fit things a little bit better. So I love the way that I end up changing it in here. It made a huge difference, and I feel like it's much easier for Austin to put away the dishes and know where everything goes now. it always amazes me when you pull everything out of a cabinet to see how much you're able to cram into all of these spaces so that is everything that was in here. I did have a few things that I no longer used, so I got rid of those. And now we're gonna put the organizers back in here and see if I can get them to function a bit better. I really love how this turned out. Everything fits so much better, more organized. Now it's time to tackle my cleaning cabinet. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing was bursting at the seams. I have so many cleaning products and a lot of these don't even have anything to do with the kitchen. It's just kind of the catch all for my cleaning products. So the number one thing I wanted to do was pull everything out, see what I can move into either the bathrooms or in the storage closet, just anywhere other than the kitchen because quite frankly, this drove me nuts. Every time I went in here to look for something, everything would fall out and it was just really frustrating. So I'm really glad that I finally did this. It had been on my to-do list for quite some time. And it just feels good when you tackle those areas that you know frustrate you, but it's also overwhelming. Like it's just the best feeling when you get it done. So I definitely encourage you guys to tackle that cabinet that you dread, the one that you just keep closing and hiding away because you will feel so much better when you get done. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fill 
It felt so good to go through that little bin and get rid of all the trash and now I can actually see inside of it and not have everything fall out when I grab the bin. But now we're doing the cabinet underneath the sink. I really wanted to try to clear away a majority of the stuff under here just because this is where our water filter is and I know we're not supposed to have a bunch of clutter underneath here so I wanted to clear it out that way the main thing under there was just my dish towels because that's you know pretty safe to have underneath there and if there is a leak it'll be handy that there's a bunch of towels <laughs> underneath the sink but I needed to wipe it down underneath here because we used to keep the gloves over there and because the gloves were constantly like dirty and coming in and out my filters and everything was just like covered in splattered food and it was just gross so we're gonna pull everything out wipe it down get rid of the clutter and clear it up underneath here it looks so much better underneath here it looks new again it's nice and clean and the last thing i wanted to do in the kitchen was vacuum and mop by this time i was so exhausted you guys i have been cleaning for nearly six hours straight but it also is the best feeling ever when you get done and you open up your cabinets and just see it's all organized again it honestly makes it so worth it so i definitely encourage you guys to tackle some areas in your house that you have been neglecting or that need some decluttering it really does make you feel so much better when you get done but we are going to be mopping with my O Cedar mop. Recently, I have been using the cast aisle soap inside of my O Cedar mop. Y'all know I love my pine saw, but I'm switching to more all natural. And I really love the way the lavender cast aisle soap smells and the scent it leaves behind when you get done mopping. So I have been using that and loving it but we are coming near the end of all of this cleaning motivation i really hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it gave you some inspiration and motivation to tackle something around your house today if it did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up it really helps out my channel if you're new and you haven't subscribed i would love for you to subscribe join my youtube family i do upload cleaning motivation weekly and i would love to have you here but I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. And also here are the clips of what my house <laughs> looked like when I got done.